Hi guys, today I'm coming at you with a brand new video. This is going to be a first impressions slash review slash swatch try on video of BH Cosmetics brand new um, metallic liquid lipsticks. It just says BH liquid lipstick, but these are the new metallic ones. Okay, so I have not every single one. I have um, six of them and there are eight. And the only reason I didn't get the other two is because I didn't really like the colors. Um, I didn't get the bright pink one because I just don't wear colors like that. And I didn't get the blue one because I have a color very similar I think it was kind of like the NYX um, Cosmic Metals one, and it looked so similar. I was just thinking, how many blue lipsticks like this do I need? So I just got the six of the most wearable and the prettiest colors. So without any further ado, I'm going to swatch these for you on my lips, and I will give you my first impressions. First shade I'm trying is called Lovey. It's a doe foot applicator, which is what lipsticks generally are. We'll see how it feels. Okay, it feels like velvet going on. It's going on really, really smoothly. The application isn't patchy at all. It literally is like super um, opaque. I already love it, really. I'm just going to see if I can go over it a second time and it look just as good. We will see if it picks back up the product or if it will actually apply over top a second layer. But like right now, I'm really loving it. It doesn't smell like anything on the lips in the, in the tube. It just smells like a normal chemical lipstick smell. It has no scent to it, but I don't mind the chemical smell. Um, you know, it doesn't bother me. It's not offensive. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a second layer. Not that it needs it, but I'm just gonna see if it works. Wait, it applies like a dream. It reminds me so much of the NYX Liquid Suede lipsticks, like the way that it goes on, but it just, it's so much creamier and like wetter. The second application was just as good as the first. No picking up of the product, no patchiness. And I love the metallic shade. It definitely still makes my lips look smooth. A lot of metallic I mean, a lot of liquid lipsticks, they tend to like make my lips look really crackly and dry. And I think the, this one does not do that at all. Okay, so it's dry now. I'm going to do a little kiss test to see if it'll come off. So it just got a little bit of the rim right here, um, but I think it's pretty darn um, kiss proof. I love this color. Okay, so that was lovey. We're just gonna move on now. Definitely doesn't come off very easily. Now we're gonna move on to the next shade called Agatha. It's like a very pretty pink color, like a more of a darker, dustier pink color. We'll see what it looks like on the lips. I 
I seriously love the way this applies. Okay, the next shade is Ginger. It definitely does not look like ginger to me. Um, maybe like that orange ginger that they give you at sushi restaurants, like the really bright orange ginger. Not like a normal ginger, which is like a yellowish color. Yeah, it definitely looks kind of salmon-y, um, coral-y, like a dull down coral. Okay, so for this one, I can see my skin a little bit under the layer. Like, I definitely need to apply a second layer of this. We'll see if it does the same thing on the top. Okay, the top wasn't as bad. Maybe the reason it's a little bit like that on the bottom is because my lips are really dry. I just tend to have really dry lips. So maybe it's just not sticking very well to that part. But I'm going to go over it again. Yeah, I'm not loving this color as much. It just seems a little bit patchy. I think it's because of how light the color is, but I really don't mind this color. I think you just have to exfoliate really hard before you use it. Um, as with most light colored liquid lipsticks, you have to like exfoliate pretty well, whereas the darker ones, you can get away with not doing that. But um, I still really like the color. It's still very metallic very neon looking in the camera also in person looks very neon so I do like this probably more for uh, spring and summer but I really do like the color okay so now we're going into the darker colors um, my lips were starting to turn really really bright pink so I just put a little bit of foundation over them so now they look very baby pink colored I'm liking every color so far now we're gonna go into you know what this um bh liquid one is really similar to the nyx cosmic metals one but i think bh definitely had a better idea this one is just like super creamy and like really sparkly whereas this is a beautiful metallic lipstick so i think bh won with this one i think that's kind of a dupe Okay, the next shade is called Amber. Definitely super excited about this color. It has like a really pretty reflective sheen in the bottle. I mean the, what do you call this? Container? Tube. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> I love this color already. I really, really love how you can like keep working with these colors. Like once you've, it's not like one of those liquid lipsticks that's once you've applied it, it's done. Like you go over it again while it's still wet, but it's kind of drying, you're screwed. This one, you can just keep on going over it, which I, that's what every lipstick is supposed to do. Um, once it's dry, I'm going to see if I can like purse my lips together and see if any of it like if my lips stick together. We're going to test that theory out right now. Yeah, definitely like a really dry feel. Um, not in a bad way, but just like as if I... It literally feels like I have suede patches on my lips and I'm just like feeling how soft they feel. 
like really soft. It feels almost like I have powder on my lips. Like the texture. I don't, I don't know if I'm explaining this well because the way I'm explaining it sounds kind of terrible. Like having powder on your lips, but it just feels so nice and I feel like my lips can breathe. This one is called Lucy. I am in love with this color right now. It's like this really beautiful burgundy shade with like pink flecks in it. Pink and red flecks in it. Really pretty color. Excited to slap it on my mouth. Okay, so this one, I had really high hopes for this. I do love the color, but I was hoping that one application would be enough. I don't know if on camera one looks like enough, but in person, mm, I think a second application would be a little better. You know, I'm sure for different people it would look different. Sorry about the um, sucky application. Keep Having to keep on applying liquid lipstick is kind of hard to do. I'm going to go ahead and put on a second layer and we'll see if it looks any better. Yeah, I think the second layer definitely kicks its butt into action. Okay, I had a little bit of trouble applying it because my lips are like crooked, but the second layer makes it look so gorgeous. So my um, thoughts on these lipsticks are do two layers and it's not going to hurt to do two layers because I can like do this and my lips aren't going to crack off and I think that's awesome. Two layers for these lipsticks I think is going to be perfect. Perfect. Okay, and last but definitely not least, we have Lucinda. This beautiful purple shade. I'm really excited about this. Oh, and can we just talk about how similar the packaging between the NYX Cosmic Metals and the BH Liquid Lipsticks are? Like, really? They're so similar, it's crazy. Um, I mean, I'm not hating, I'm just saying. Enough of the chit chat, I'm just gonna try this on. Yes! Uh, I love it. Definitely gonna go in with a second one with this one. Although I do love the shade. Alright, I'm going to try something. I know that with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, liquid lipsticks, the ones that had like sparkle in them, if you like rubbed your lips, the sparkle would like come out. So I kind of wonder if that would happen with this. That might be like a really stupid idea, but <laughs> I'm going to try it. I'm not going to rub it hard. I'm just going to like lightly rub it and see. Did anything? I can't tell.
I don't know. I don't know if that did anything. But I, I do see the metallic when I move my head. <laughs> okay, so since this is like a first impressions slash review, I told you everything I thought about it. Um, I'm going to do one of those videos where I come back after a couple of hours and I see how my lips are doing. So I'm going to leave these on and I will be coming back and updating you guys on the lips. Oh, by the way, right now it's 5.35. Keep that in mind. Hey guys, so I'm checking in right now. <gasps> I don't have like an anus mouth. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> okay, so right now um, it is 7.30, so almost perfect timing. Um, it's been two hours. This right now is after I have eaten. Um, I had an egg McMuffin and a McFlurry and a hash brown. And um, those are very greasy foods, right? And wet foods, like the McFlurry is wet. It's like ice cream pretty much. So with that being said, I ate all these greasy foods and this is all I did really. And of course I got this little tiny mark that I always, always get when I eat with lipstick on. People say that it's something that people with big lips get. Um, I think I have like medium sized lips, like not super huge, but I know I don't have like small lips. So when I eat, it like folds over. So I have a little bit of this. It's really not that bad. I just kept it for the video so I could show you guys, but it looks really dumb. <laughs> this is as, pretty much as bad as it got after two hours. It still feels incredibly soft on the lips. Like I can still move my mouth really well. Um, yeah, it feels really good. Still feels really like soft and velvety. So I will check in with you guys maybe in another two hours or maybe even later than that. So, I'll be back in a little bit. Hello everyone, um, I am checking back in with you. It is now 9.30. And so it's been two hours again. Since the last update, I've drank in a few things and that's about it, I haven't eaten anything. So this is pretty much like, I don't, I think this is gonna be the worst it's gonna get. Um, but even so, it's really still on there, except for where I ate it off, and it still feels really soft. So yeah, this product, I give it an A+, plus because it's really amazing. So I definitely recommend you go out and buy it. Right now it is um, $8.50 on BH Cosmetics, and... Um, I think the normal price of it is like $10, but right now it's on sale. So you should go check that out. And I think that's the end of this video. Yeah. Um, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I want to know what kind of videos I should do with Nick, who is my husband. Um, I was thinking of doing the I do my husband's makeup but I mean, there are definitely other husband videos I could do. So leave me some suggestions. Um, and yeah, that's it. See you guys later. Bye. That was the weirdest outro I've ever done.